was all for the good. I needed to believe again. I needed to be sure that I would not be false to you. I needed to be sure that I was justified in believing in Master Farad Muhammad yes, yes, yes. and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and following the body of knowledge that they left for us. Yes, yes. I needed to be sure because my faith like yours was shaken. I used to look at the picture in my home of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and I would say, oh dear possible, oh my God, you know, I worked so hard all these years and you left, you know, I'm talking to the picture. I know the picture can't hear. And I thought, just me and, and the picture talking, you know. I wasn't crazy, just insane. <laughs> I'm talking to the picture saying to the messenger saying you know you didn't even leave me nothing you know here I am my refrigerator is empty they about to take my car my mortgage is due and I find out that what I was teaching it wasn't all together 100% could you leave me like this? And then when I woke up, I went back by the picture, because I had to pass it. Every day going down the stairs, I looked at the picture and smiled. I said, you left me everything, didn't you? That's right. Because he left me, he left me the very thing that Master Farad left him. The Word. The Word. You don't need nothing else. Yes, sir. For in the beginning was the Word. Yes. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Yes. Now look, brothers. Look, sisters. You know, if I may ask the sisters, if you will excuse me. Sisters, I just realized I've been looking over here. The whole time I've been talking. As though you weren't here. Forgive me, please. I was talking to the brothers about our captain, and I have to apologize to you, you know, because I usually don't do that. But this was us as men reflecting over the man that meant so much to us. But what I failed to say, he meant a lot to the sisters because he was making us better husbands, better fathers better brothers for you and he was your captain too he was the temple's captain so excuse me please i'm sorry i got twisted yes sir <laughs> i almost straighten out here <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna keep you long i i just i'm happy you need to be here But I just wanted to just recount some of that history. Yes, sir. Right. It was grievous to me to see my brother laying there. Because I know he didn't die happy. His heart was heavy. Because really what he wanted was to see what happened today at his funeral. That's right. That's right. The imam and I, you didn't see this, in the office embrace each other. And all of Imam Siraj and I embraced each other. And as I looked in the room, I said, Elijah Muhammad started all of this. Yes, and no matter where, Imam Siraj is known throughout the whole Muslim world and loved and respected. Imam Waritudin is known throughout the whole Islamic world 
and loved and respected. Brother Farrakhan is known throughout the whole Islamic world. I don't know whether I'm loved and respected. <laughs> but, but, among the masses, they know that there's a voice in America. Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead. I want to say this while I'm talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, I want every Muslim in this audience to know whose persuasion is orthodox. Come on. That I, Louis Farrakhan, love Mecca. Yes, sir. Medina. The Quran and the Prophet, yes, sir. peace be upon him. We couldn't be Muslims That's right. That's right. That's right. if we didn't have love for the Prophet of Islam who laid the very foundation of the faith for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Oh. Well, if you love him so much, why didn't Elijah Muhammad teach us of him? Because we were babies. And we were drinking milk from our mother's breast. And if you put a baby on two mother's breasts at the same time, it may throw up the milk from both mothers and end up starved. Elijah Muhammad and said, well, he didn't teach the Quran. Who says so? See, some of the Muslims didn't even have a Quran. And how long was it in Mecca and Medina that you didn't have a book? But you had Muhammad and a word coming out of his mouth that was in fact the book. So when the Quran said, read, what was there to read? There was no book. The book was in Muhammad. And over 23 years, that book was being revealed. Teach to your father. He recited from his mouth the words of Allah, the messages of Allah, and the recitation of the word backed up by his knowledge of the gospel of Jesus and the Torah of Moses was sufficient to bring Christians and Jews into the new faith which was the old faith Islam Come on. Go ahead, teach. Go ahead. Elijah Muhammad yes sir was a man that had the book yes, God sir. don't give you a book That's and not a man. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. God has never floated a book down out of the sky and, and told foolish people, read. God always sent a man with a book. A man with a message. Never a message without a man. Beautiful teaching, dear apostle. Teach. Yes, sir.